So this is the Tikkun Elevator Kolel on Baruch Fleischman, and we are going through now the Drashi Alayla, what's going on at nighttime in the spiritual worlds. So here we are on page Kuf Tes Vav, uh, and we're just going to read across the top to get our familiar with ourselves familiarized. Uh, we're actually a couple of pages back, or one page back. Vata Nevayer Inyan Konenes V'Tikkun Zeha Kli Yisod the Nukva. Now his, his topic is Tikkun Kli so the Nuk Ayidecha Yedayim the Ima. Through this, I really didn't really understand a hundred percent clearly myself what the Yedayim meant. So I went through it. Uh, I saw what we talked about, but I was thinking that Yedayim is like the word Yad is like the number fourteen, and he's going to make some kind of play with it because you can get a forty-two out of it. And at the same time, that three times fourteen is forty-two. Forty-two is a number of going up. And I was so assuming that that's part of what this is about, but he doesn't talk about that at all. So it's under the Vahari Indian called Nenez Vatikun Zeha Kli the Yisod the Nukva Ma Inyan. He says, Makom Aliyas Hanashamos Bakal Lilo. So now we're going back to this. Every night we go to sleep and our Nashamos go up. He be Yisod Hamalchus is into the Yisod of Malchus Nukva the Zer Anpin. It's in other words, she has the Yisod. So ten spheres in Malchus, that's where our souls go up to. Shuhu uh, Beis Rechem Shalah, which is really her womb. Now, this is what he says. <coughs> this place in the womb is called by the name Yad. Asher Zehu Sod Biyadaka Afki Ruchi. So when he said the womb of, of uh, Ima, it's the same thing as saying your womb, is the same thing as saying Yadaka. Now, why? Afki Rucha Sha'ana Omrim Bakal Lila Alamitasena that we say this every night when we before we go to bed. So he said Vakatam Aikiyos Nikra Yad. So why should the womb of Ima be called of the of the Yisod of Ima uh be called uh called uh uh Yad? Now I, I might have missed mis- said that wrong. I mean maybe it's the whole womb is called Yad and not just the Yisod. I'm not sure. We'll see if we can pick it up. So so he says, this is the Yad. There are five Gevuros. And then also, it concludes also the five letters, the name Elokim. Where it comes from is in five different places that take place up above. It's not really clear to me where the up above is. In the nose, the puma in the mouth, if it's royal on the shoulders or the arms, and in the hands, and then in finally, but the in the etzpa, it really starts at the fingers. Now, let me see the fingers. So the fingers are the ultimate extension of the concept of hand. Now, exactly how what how this goes together, I'm not sure. <clears throat> uh, because I'm not sure, I'm going to go down here to number Tess Zion. Uh, what is that? Tess, Tess Vov, and read that. He says, let's read the light print only. He says, Mavur Beidra Rabba of Hamisha Gavuras and Miss Pasha Bahadaz, Aim Hamisha Osios Mansapak, Aim Miss Pashti Bahamisha Bakomos, Begoran de Zera, Beguf de Zeranpin. Where do they go? So he says the Gavuras actually spread into five different places. That's what spreads. Bahotim, Miss Pasha de Os Mem, and then goes on through the rest of the five different places where they wind up. So he says in the tzaddik, uh, it winds up in the, uh, this is where we're up here, in the, uh, uh, the, in the fingers. Now let's go to where I want to go. This is over here on page uh, number Yud Tess. He said, the fi shachachamisha chasadim nizgala bechamesha tzbaos yad yamen, because he said that the chasadim are revealed the five of them. Up before that, they're all concealed because they're in one place. But here is five places. So five places they come out. This has to come, she has to come near the Zeranpin. So you have to put that next to Zeranpin. 
but the kasher in a tire there, Bizroa small, onto his left arm, Shehi Kenegad Bechinis Gevura, which is where the Gevura is located. Yad small de Eric Anpin, Shehi Shorish, Kol Chadine Bechagavurs, and the Yad, the left arm of Zer Anpin, which is the source of all of the dinim, all of the gavuros, Val Yada is Matkura Gavuros, and through it then comes the sweetening of the Gavuros, Vahadinim, Shabanukva, Kanoida. Shain Hadinim Amis Matkim, Ella Ayyade Shrasham, because somehow you have to get over there for Ayyad Yada Yismatko, so he says through those dinim that are coming out of Eric Anpin, this causes a sweetening in uh down below Al Yade Sharsham through their roots. So let's see what he says like this. Hamisha as Bogos Yad Yamim Aim Kanega Hamisha Hasadim correspond to five different Hasadim. So he says, uh, 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 as Bogos Yad small. So the five fingers of the left hand. Hang Kanega the Hamesh Gavuros. Gavuros. Baal P. Zechem Mavur Bederek Agav. As inin kushios of the filin shall yad bavadash small daika. So there it says specifically that it has to do with the left hand. Specifically, he says that the filin has to go on the left. For whom shown should the filin shall yad, who bestowed nook the zir anpin is really the female aspect of zir anpin. But came in shecha nook yesh bad dinim begavurus kenaidas. So since the nook has within herself dinim begavurus kenaidas. Azai bekedei lematek as a dinim shabas, or there in order to be able to sweeten the dinim that she has within her. Koshrim also al zrua small the zir anpin. We tie her onto the left arm as zir anpin. She he bebechins gavura, which is an aspect of gavura. Gavura. The shamba zrua small so there on that left arm the zir anpin. Nem shechas aras the gavuras meirik anpin. This is meirich. So he says that that's on that left arm is uh, which refers to Zeranpin's Zer left arm, but he's tying the nukva onto that Zeranpin, and this is the object of Sham Bezroa's small Zeranpin. That's where the object or the 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 flow is going to Ha'arez of Gavuros Anpin, all coming from Ariach. The Mashakas of Yad small the Eric Anpin was instead the left arm of Zeranpin. I am Beshefa Kavanos. Dana Kavanda Kapshuto, the Kavanda is not like the simple meaning, and we're going to look at this. We'll start to read some of it at any rate today. Val Ha'arazu, and through this Ha'ara that we're talking about, Nimtiko Dene Hanuk, it sweetens the Dinim that are in the Nuk, Kanoida Sha'in Had Dinim, it's Matkim, because the only way that you could sweeten Dinim, Elder Bishorsham, as it would be at their root. Vashor Shagavuros, whom Eric is Ma'arich, comes from Arich. By the Shefa Gavanus comes, so come over there here and see the Shefa. We're going to look at it. She is by Ba'arichos, Yoser, in Yenzeh. So why not take a look at that in the time that's remaining? We'll look, we'll get started on it. He says, uh, here we are in the Shefa Gavanus. It says, it says down here, I'm getting it, getting it. There it is. Ba'ata Nevair Inyan. So the whole subject of what's going on with the tikkun of the kli is, you know, why is it important to do that? I mean, what you need, she does, she has a kli or she doesn't have a kli, so I guess maybe he means the building of the kli. So here we have like a mixture of different ideas or different parshas. Dan Heino, because of this time, uh, Diber, uh, uh, Maha Tikun, uh, the Zivug Bia Rishonis. So we've been talking about the Tikun of the first Rish, uh, Bia, which makes a Kli, and a Ruach goes into it. Vaata Machil, Maskil, the buyer, uh, the voyer, as a Dinim, uh, uh, Acher, the, uh, as a Tikun, uh, Acher, there's another Tikun that plays, on the day, on the, uh, Yede, uh, 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 Al Yede, Miuch ha yadayim de ima because of the of the squashing, uh, that's what I understand miuch to mean, uh, squashing uh, uh, of the hand, the process of squashing of the hands of ima. Now uh, let me see what happened here. That was in the wrong place. Or I, oh I skipped. Oh, I was supposed to go back here, and I, I go back here. So 
beg your pardon, but here we go again. So we're going backwards to page Kufyud Gimel. Kufyud Gimel calls, starts off with this side. This idea, Kicha Zivug on the Gorim Tikun, the Kunenis Klicha Yisod the Nukva. So, in order we understand this, the this I guess probably a big idea. He says that what we're talking about these Yehudim that take place after midnight, so on and so forth. He says it's for the purpose of making the uh, 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 Tikun in the Kli of the Yisod of the Nukva. Sarkla Dasi says the Yeshdam Shnei in Yonim Betikunim Shonim. There's two different things that are different here. Ayeshechet Shneichem Mechunim Abaharbe Mekomos B'Shem Asiyas Betikun Kli Yisod the Nuk. So he says the two different things. Or he says Shnei in Yonim Betikunim Shonim. So there's two different things, but they're both called by the name of <coughs> of making a Tikun in the Yisod of the Nuk. So but they're actually two different things altogether. Now we'll take a look at this. We'll learn a little bit of it, and uh, it's probably going to be what we'll be able to do today. So the first one is tikkun kli yisod. Is a tikkun that could be made in the kli of the yisod. So what does that mean? Uh, so he says shel hanuk the tikkun of the yisod of the hanuk. So this takes place, the tikkun of this Yisod takes place not through intercourse, uh, mating with, with her male counterpart, but directly from her mother, which is, which is, uh, which is Ima. So number two, he says, that's the first thing. So first is, is that her kli is made out of Ima. So then he says, "I'm shachas a rucha miyisod is there anpin, but that kli has a ruach that's placed into it, that takes place miyisod is there anpin the yisod the nook, on the asas beesa zivug the bia rishona which takes place at the time of the yichud, which is in the bia rishona. So now they're having bia. V'chein before b'divir harav also this, and they bring sight references. Shem shnei inyan, and they're two different things." So the rabbis are Meforshim explain. Uh, they explain, let me see what time it is. He says what? He says, uh, uh, ex- ex- explains. I guess it was a period there. Let me, uh, specify, let me get, look closer at this. You could get confused about this. The palm madavach or rab beinyan tikkun the echo. One time he's talking about one of the tikkunim and one the other. But take of the achrov madaver madaver beinyan the tikkun the shen. He starts about the second one. Bekor the shneihem tikkun klih yisod the nook. And this is where we're going to stop. And tomorrow Metz Hashem will be able to do the beer. Baruch Fleischman tikkun elevator hollow.